so after defining the load combinations now let us move on to the design portion of our structure so we'll go to the design tab from here after that uh, so it's a steel design and we need to do the concrete design so we'll click on the concrete tab this is very important okay and after that this current code and from here select the Indian standard code or the code that is being followed in your country so I'll select IS 456 over here now there are various parameters that you need to select for the design and I'll click on select parameters so what you can do is that all these parameters have already been selected you can unselect them and after that you can select only those parameters that you need to insert or that you need to put in your structure so here I'll select all these parameters okay but uh, it is not necessary that you have to select all the parameters you can just uh, just skip the parameters that you don't want to put for example this is the bracing uh, clear cover depth of the cross section and those stuffs so click on ok and after that go to define parameters so this is where we define the selected parameters that we just did now so brace I don't want to mess up with and uh, I'll go to the clear cover uh, okay so clear cover uh, it's in meters so for the beam I'll take 0 0.025 that is 25 mm I'll click on add okay, yeah, if, uh, if I just close this uh, for a while and if I drag this over here you can see that start concrete design folder has been created and so we selected the Indian code code Indian so you must have selected any other code and here another thing is defined clear 0 0.025 and we haven't yet assigned the this value so again go to define parameters and next uh, clear cover that we are defining is for the column that is 0 0.04 uh, 40 mm and uh, okay so I don't need this depth I don't need ELY ELZ ENS so I need FC FC is the compressive strength of the concrete so compressive strength of the concrete uh, it's 20 uh, Newton per mm square and if you convert it to kilo Newton per meter square it will be 20,000 so 20,000 kilo Newton per meter square so click on add so I'll use uh, 20,000 uh, kilo Newton per meter square that is 20 MPa for both the columns and the beams and if you want to use higher grade value uh, then you can definitely use th those values here uh, you can use 25 but for residential building 20 MPa is just fine you cannot use M15 though so if I main that is the yield strength of the main bars so it will be uh, 500 uh, 500 Newton per mm square that is Fe 500 so if I convert it to kilo Newton per meter square I have to multiply it with 1000 so three zeros and click on add so if I check uh, I'll use uh, 500 for this as well normally in Indian standard Fe 415 is uh, recommended but at the site uh, at the site you will not see that you Fe 415 has been used you will see that Fe 500 is used for both for the main bars as well as for the secondary bars so I'll use uh, 500 here as well you can use uh, Fe 415 here but uh, use Fi main as uh, Fe 500 because Fe 415 is a little bit of obsolete nowadays so maximum reinforcement uh, uh, maximum reinforcement if you don't want to go above any reinforcement value for example you don't want to go above 25 mm you can use this and uh, maximum secondary reinforcement if you don't want to go above 10 mm uh, that is generally used uh, 8 to 10 uh, you can use this as well and uh, another thing that uh, you might be interested in is this ratio so maximum uh, longitude percentage of longitudinal reinforcement allowed is uh, four percent. So in so in columns generally 0 0.8 to six percent is uh, uh, is permitted, but you cannot go beyond four percent uh, because if you go beyond four percent, then you know there might be a lot of reinforcement uh, reverse uh, in your column and concreting work might become difficult. So we'll go with four percent for the columns. I'll add that as well and uh, any other thing that i need okay i don't need so i'll click on close now uh, let us assign these parameters to our structure uh, okay so clear cover 0 0.025 uh, i need to assign where is uh, clear cover okay so clear cover for the column hasn't been defined so clear cover 
click zero four zero click on add click on close okay so let's add uh, I'll add so I'll select all the beams so go to select and go to beams parallel to and click on X and again go to select go to beams parallel to and select Z so all the beams have been selected except for this and this I and press control and select uh, these two beams as well and click on clear 0.025 oops the selection went off okay so select this uh, first and again go to select click on beams parallel to X go to select beams parallel to Z and hold control and select these two these three beams okay and so click on assign to the selected beams okay save okay uh, now again I think uh, okay selected click on assign and click on yes and after that click on this option go to select go to beams parallel to and click on Y and click on assign click on yes and after that uh, FC 2000 is for the whole structure so I'll click on assign to view and click on assign click on yes and FY main 550,000 is for the whole structure I'll click on assign to view and click on assign click on yes and so one parameter hasn't been defined so ratio 4 is for the columns so I'll go to select go to beams parallel to and go to Y and click on assign click on yes and I need to define one more parameter that is FY sec and it's 500 1 2 3 click on add click on close Okay, so if I say uh, this is for the holy structure assigned to view and click on assign and click on yes.